If I wanted to cement my place, there was one guy I needed to team up with. 10,000. And that was this man. The game had regulars and the game had guests. Check a bit. And four of the regulars were famous actors. And I'm going to call one of them Player X. I'm all in. Player X subscribed to the belief that money won was twice as good as money earned. He lived to beat people and take their money. Here's Player X talking one of the guests into folding the winning hand. I swear on, look at me. I swear on my mother's life I have you. Player X was the best player at the table, and tonight, this guy was the worst. He's staring at his cards. Even a reasonably good amateur would know it was mathematically the best hand, which in poker is called the nuts. There was $47,000 in the pot, and the guest was holding the nuts, but he was starting to get confused because a movie star was talking to him. My mother's life, man. I'm not messing with you. Why would you be telling me? Either I am messing with you, or you're new to the game. You've had bad cards all night. You should have folded after the flop, and I don't want to win more of your money this way. I've got queens under here. Take your time. Fold. Fuck you. No! A fish is a particular kind of player. A fish has money. A fish plays loose cool. and doesn't fold a lot. A fish is good, but not too good. There's an ATM in the hall, bro. The Cobra Lounge may have belonged to Dean Keith, but the game belonged to Player X. People wanted to say they played with him the same way they wanted to say they rode on Air Force One. My job security was gonna depend on bringing him his fish, but where would I find people with a lot of money who didn't know how to spend it and like to be around celebrities? If they say they're interested in poker, you give them my number, I bet them. If they end up playing in a game, I'll give you $1,000 the first time.